good morning dear student how are you i hope you all are well today we are going to start our part 3 of chapter number 1 the name of topic is basic concept in geometry in that we have already done question number 1 now we will see question number 2 of practice set 1.1 see in that the question number 1 is given x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 7 and what we have to do here if the coordinate of a is x and that of b is y then find distance a b now you can see here x is given 1 and y is given 7 and we know here 7 is greater than 1 So first we will write here as seven is greater than one. So distance A B will is equal to it will be equal to larger coordinate minus smaller coordinate. Your larger coordinate is here seven and your smaller coordinate is here one. So seven minus one is will come six. If nothing is given in question, you have to always write here. units so therefore distance a b is equal to 6 unit that will be the answer of your first question take one more example from your textbook if x is equal to minus 4 y is equal to minus 5 then how we will solve this x is equal to minus 4 and y is given minus 5 now as among minus 4 and minus 5 which one will be greater as i told you earlier in earlier uh, part in minus number the smaller number is always greater so here minus 4 will be greater than minus 5 so here minus 4 is greater than minus 5 so how you will find the distance between a and b Larger coordinate minus smaller coordinate. Here your larger coordinate is minus four, so minus four minus. Now write in bracket because here also minus is given. Minus five. Now minus four. This minus and this minus will become plus. So therefore. Distance A B is equal to. Now see here, the sign of four is minus, and the sign of plus is which is given for five. Minus plus minus five minus four one. The sign of greater number is here plus. So we will not write here plus. If nothing is given, we will write here unit one unit. So your answer will be distance of A B is equal to one unit. in the same way you have to uh, solve all the remaining question which is given in your textbook now move towards your next question question number 3 it is related to betweenness now what is betweenness uh see as i have written here if there are three collinear points say for example the points are p q and r okay then there are three possibilities but if there are the three points then the, uh, in the terms of betweenness there will be three possibility the first one possibility will be that point q may lie in between p r your second possibility point p may lie between r q and finally one more possibility is there point r may lie in between p q now now here not more than three possibilities possible three possible three uh, possibilities se jyada yahan pe possible nahi hai pehla to aisa ho sakta hai ki aapka point q beech mein aaye do point ke beech mein fir aapka point p do point ke beech mein aaye aur fir aapka point r dono point ke beech mein aaye baaki aur bhi koi possibility yahan pe nahi hai now we are going to understand Betweenness with related to our first point. अपने पहले पॉइंट के हिसाब से हम तो समझने की कोशिश करते हैं कि किस प्रकार से होगा जैसे मान लीजिए फर्स्ट फिगर आप देखिए इफ डिस्टेंस पी क्यू 
प्लस डिस्टेंस की वा इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस पी आर मान लीजिए कि इस डिस्टेंस को पी क्यू को प्लस डिस्टेंस क्यू आर अगर मैं इन दोनों डिस्टेंस को ऐड करता हूँ एंड आई एम गोइंग टू गेट द बोर्ड डिस्टेंस इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस पी आर देन इट इज से डैट पॉइंट क्यू इज बिटवीन द पॉइंट पी एंड पॉइंट आर अगर पी क्यू का डिस्टेंस और क्यू आर का डिस्टेंस इस पी आर के डिस्टेंस के बराबर आ जाए तो हम कह सकते हैं कि पॉइंट पी क्यू सॉरी क्यू पॉइंट पी आर के बीच में आएगा द बिटवीननेस इज सोन एज पी डैश क्यू डैश आर ये हम बिटवीननेस किस तरह से शो करेंगे पी डैश क्यू डैश आर इसका मतलब कि पॉइंट क्यू विल लाइ इन बिटवीन पॉइंट पी एंड पॉइंट आर एंड दिस विल बी कॉलिनियर पॉइंट्स ये पॉइंट्स क्या होंगे कॉलिनियर होंगे Let us understand more clearly with the help of question number one, which is given in your textbook. From the information given below, find which of the point is between other other two. मतलब दो कौन सा point बाकी जो बचे हुए दो point है उसके बीच में आएगा. And in that, the first question is distance P R is equal to seven. Distance PQ is equal to 10 and distance QR is equal to 3. Let us solve it. See among this question, distance PR is equal to 7. Okay, distance PQ is equal to 10 and distance QR is equal to 3. Now you have to decide here which distance is here greater. I think PQ is greater and the distance is given 10. so we will write here distance pq is equal to 10 which is largest distance so give it make it equation 1 now add up the remaining two distance and If we leave distance P Q, the remaining two distance will be distance P R is equal to seven, distance Q R is equal to three. Now add up these both two distance. So distance P R plus distance Q R is equal to the value of distance P R is given seven, and the value of distance Q R is given three. So write here seven plus three. Seven plus three, it will be ten. If nothing is given here, write here units. You also write down units. Now you can see here, distance PQ is equal to distance PR plus distance QR. Okay, so write here from equation one and two. What you derive here? Distance. PQ is equal to distance PR plus distance QR. Okay, it means here points P, Q, and R are collinear points. Are collinear points. Now see, we have to decide here one more thing: which point will lie in between other two points? For that, we will see here our right hand side. आप देख सकते हो कि इन दोनों distance के बीच में common point कौन सा दिया गया है? I think R. And here also it is R. इसका मतलब जो R है, बाकी जो दोनों point बच गए, उनके बीच में आएगा. So here point. R will lie in between in between point P and point R. Sorry, Q. Now take one more example from your textbook.
second distance rs is equal to a distance st is equal to 6 and distance rt is equal to 4 Now, again we will solve in the similar way. Which one is the largest distance here? I think distance R S is the largest. So we will write here distance R S is equal to A, which is largest distance. So make it equation one. Distance R S is equal to eight units. Now, what is the next step? We will add the remaining two distances, and the remaining two distances are here: distance S T plus distance R T. The distance S T is given in question six plus R T is given four, and six plus four is will come ten units. Now, what you got here from equation, from equation one and two, here you got that distance R S is not equal to distance S T plus distance R T. So it means these points are not a collinear points. So therefore, points. R, S, and T are not collinear points. So there is no relation of between us exists here. So in similar way, the remaining question you have to do in your notebook. Now, question number four and question number five we will do in our next video. now i am going to solve here your question number 6 see in question number 6 what is given draw a proper figure and write the answer of the following question in that your first question is given if a dash b dash c it means abc is a collinear point in that the measurement of length ac is 11 the measurement of length bc is 6.5 Then you have to find out length AB is equal to what. Now for that, first we will draw this diagram because it the indication is given in the question. We have to draw the diagram here. So first, you will draw a diagram. And what is the sequence given here? A dash B dash C. Similarly, we will write here A dash B dash C. Now see in that length AC is given 11 cm. Sorry, 11. So length AC is given 11. In that length BC is given 6.5. To write here length BC is equal to 6.5. And what is the missing part here? Length AB. This is the missing part. So first you will write here given. Given is what A dash. B dash C and length AC is equal to 11 and length BC is equal to 6.5. Now what you have to do here? You have to find here length AB is equal to what? So we will write the solution of this. Let us start with what we have. What are we given the question? A B C. These all three points are collinear. If these are the collinear points, so we can get here length AC. How? If we add length AB plus length BC. So how we will get here length AC? If we will add length AB plus length BC. Okay. AC is given in question. It is 11. So write here 11. Length AB is the missing part here, right as it is, 
and BC is given here 6.5. Now this is the plus on this side will become minus length AB. Now subtract how much you will get here? 4.5 11 minus 6.5 what will come? 6, 4.5 If nothing is given in question you will write here units So here you get the length AB is equal to 4.5 cm In similar way the remaining question you have to do in your notebook I hope you all understood this video आप लोगों को ये सब वीडियो समझ में आया अगर आप लोगों को कुछ भी डाउट है आप लोग कमेंट करके मुझे पूछ सकते हो जो हमारे हमारा जो पर्सनल ग्रुप है एच का और आपको आपके इस नोटबुक में भी लिखना है और आपको आपके होमवर्क बुक में भी लिखना है थैंक यू वेरी मच बाय